what's up guys so all right so today i'm going to talk about real quick about mapping about fuel mapping so martin's got motion moto over in san diego so i took him the bike uh which had an engine rebuild but it was running really funky it needed a map and i wanted it to change to different fuel so basically um, um i i had this lady over here tuned up pretty much to death um and he needed a map so it was running on u4.4 fuel we changed the piston back to the stock one because it had like a higher compression one and we brought the compression up to 30 13 point something 30.5 i think it is uh, and i was spending a lot of money on on race fuel so i told uh martin about it and he told me just bring it to the shop and map it's got a power commander 5 so he mapped it out so now it runs super peachy and now i just i'm running a mix of uh 110 fuel uh, 50 percent with a mix of 91 so it brings it to about 93 ish octane fuel so it's matte for that way cheaper cheaper than race gas a good alternative if you want to try give it a go he got 45 power 45 horses to the wheel uh which is pretty decent for the rc390 motor and yeah let's try it out today if you want your stuff mapped go see him Awesome day. I don't even work here. I don't even work here. <laughs> <laughs> Get it right. Chuck a Wild Valley Raceway, and uh, we're going to do some riding today. Good weather. Third event. I mean, we packed this year. We're going to be uh, busy all year. So we got Chuck today. Um, then on the first, we come back to Chuck on the Saturday. Uh, then after that, we go to Willow for racing for the minis. And uh, we got the big track for Steve and uh, Street to Willow. Dope. So it's a three day, uh, three day event. So if you get minis, bring the big bikes and bring the little bikes so you can race on Saturday. Oh, so you got the big bikes and the minis on the same weekend? Big bikes, racing on Saturday. I think Friday is big one, I believe. Uh, this Saturday is mini racing and Sunday is streets. Oh, hell yeah. So it's going to be a good weekend. And where can we find the tickets and where can we find more information? Go to and get signed up. Perfect. See you there. Perfect. All right. All bikes matter. Every single bike counts. Let's go now. Chipala or any of our events at Total Wheel Track Days, make sure you come in and register first in the morning, first thing in the morning. Bring your waiver, your QR code, and we'll check you in super fast and super quick. Have fun! What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Two Wheel Track Days. We're on session number three. We're in Chapala. We're going to follow one of the fastest riders out there. Learn a thing or two. Can I follow you? This was pretty amazing guys. Now, I got to chase Anna. She is an extremely fast rider, really fast competitor in, uh, at CBMA, and, and I got the opportunity to basically chase her to learn a thing or two about Chukawala Raceway. Now, I fought really hard to lower the 204s on my KTM RC390, and thanks to the mapping that we did, I was able to, to really open the gas and be more smooth on the motorcycle, but Anna, she just unlocked a little good, a good thing on on me, to, you know, in, in this track. So I was super thankful, for, super thankful to be able to follow her in this session. So chasing the thousands, chasing the six hundreds, no problem. Chakwala going from side to side, no problem. Going from left part of the track to the right side of the track, absolutely no problem. Aggressive on the brakes any day. Aggressive on the exits, no problem. But I could not break the four minute mark. She helped out a lot. It's really good to chase somebody who's fast to learn how to push yourself. And if their tires can make it, you can make it too. Always within, you know, making sure that you don't high side or, or, or lose the front. But yeah, here we go. Chasing time. Enjoy. I love entering this corner at full speed. This is one of my strongest parts. Entering that corner and dragging the brakes just a little bit is great and switching gears into fifth in order to take this right hand there is super amazing i'm checking in on her just to see where she's at she's obviously studying me seeing what i'm doing right or wrong and i'm about to get a serious lesson love this corner you got to connect these two lefties into one and start opening as soon as you leave the first left corner and and use all the track this is 
important part of Chuck Waller. Chuck Waller is a big track. You got to use the whole thing. This is where Anna thing sneaks in. Yep. I got stopped. I got slowed down by a 600. Believe it or not. And yeah, got stuck behind the, this bike and trying to to stay with her, catching a draft. As you can see, the draft helps me pull in. I can catch her a little bit on the brakes. This isn't the only area where I have any hope on getting closer to her. But watch what happens in the exit. Soon as she exits on the far left or a little further left than me, she can push. We had that traffic. Come on, guys. Thousand CCs. Whenever you see a look ATM, pink R3. Get out of the way. I love this corner. You just kissing the brakes a little bit, cut the gas just a touch, and then just open as quick as you can. Uh, smoothly, of course. Um, and transition from the right side to this left side of the ball. I love taking this ball wide. It's it's awesome to have somebody tell you, I cannot exit. Look, look at the difference in the distance. See, I'd used more of the track, and so I added more meters to, to this, and I had to now fight on the brakes to close them up. So it's really important to, to stay tight on your lines with the big bikes. You can use the whole track, but make sure you're not adding more meters or feet that you need to on your on your on your session, on your track. On the braking, I can get tight, I can get close, but on the exit is where she kills me. Look at that, look, look how much she's already pushing for. And she go two, three bike lengths just on that corner. So I gotta study her. I'm definitely studying this video a lot after it gets posted. On the braking, I can catch her. But watch this. She opens so much earlier. She can put two bike lengths back on. So whatever I gain on the brakes, I lose them on under acceleration. I really had to work my ass off. I am not fit for this purpose. And to stay with her alone was my dead max completely. Look how much she pulls on me on that corner. I try to tighten the corner but it backfires on me because look, as I go wider I just add more meters to the or feet to the equation. On the braking I can get close but anything else, nada. And now we got my friend here with the R6 kind of like in the party for a minute. This is a good actually comparison for you guys of 400 with 46 horsepower and an R6 with 100 horsepower, 120 horsepower in a track. This is all about technique. and love chasing him he's, he's pretty fast too himself he's super cool cool cat but yeah he got in between us and as soon as I got off pace she was gone 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 with the wind look how much I get on the braking just here just slowing down on the braking and he's not using the whole track so I'm able to use the whole track catch a little bit of draft and chase him full force I love the ball in Chakwala. It's quite scary when you get it right. And back in the braking, yeah, all these little bikes, you brake so much later, so you can catch up so much later on the braking. Um, yeah, and don't get me wrong, people that can pilot R6s um, can pilot them super fast. There's, I think I've seen uh, mid 50s, uh, and the pros do 147s, I think, if, not, if I'm not mistaken. One of my friends, um, gets a 155 out of his R6 in uh, in Chakwala so we're only doing two or threes, two or fours right now in the 400s but I think that's enough time for me to compete in CBMA so I think I'm going to give it a go after after I tinker with the bike a little bit more I think I think I'm ready and I think this session with with Anna helped me out a lot on understanding you know how to race against somebody off that pace she's waiting for me She's gladly waiting for me. Thank God. Yeah, I try to get in tight in this one so I can push him out of the way. I give him a sign to just give us a bit of a minute. And yeah, we're gonna. I'm gonna fast forward until I catch her. Well, not until I catch her. Until she allows me to catch her. And we're back on. We got a couple laps together now. So trying to, to push, push, push enough to get close to her in this part of the straight, she goes so fast. She's giving me a break. So she cut off the throttle a little bit so I can get closer. In this braking zone, right here, this is what I gained the meters. Mind you, she cut off the throttle. But when she opens, look how much she goes away. And she uses the whole track. I, I'm too scared yet to do it. But, uh, but yeah, we're able to keep up. I think from a motor perspective, her bike and my bike tunes are pretty much uh, similar. She is on a 300, I'm on a 390, 
think the R3s are 340cc or something like that. So it's not too far, not too close. We're there. I'm also a chubby, chubby man. So obviously the 200 pounds don't help pushing that bike as hard as I can. Try to stay with her. Under braking, I can kind of catch something, but again, under acceleration, I lose her again. So I think here I was running out of gas, I was running out of fumes, and I could not keep up the speed, I could not keep up the pace. As soon as she goes too far for me to visualize her cues of where to brake and where to accelerate, this is where I get into trouble. This is when I get into, she gets into the disappearing zone. Under this braking part, I'm able to catch a little bit, but off she goes again. That, that that crash hill is key guys, you want to take it tight, you want to take it slow to your left, you don't want to go too wide, otherwise it's a mess on the exit. And right here, the key is just kissing on the brakes really gently. I think we're going to exit on this one and we're going to do another session, let's see. I gotta love the bowl. Yeah, we're out of here. We're going to chat about it, we're going to talk about what I did right, what I did wrong, she's got some tips for me. And then we'll go do another session together. Peace! And the hooligan team is back. Now we are with Alfredo and we are with Sylvia. Sylvia, the Willy Queen, almost lost it in that moment. Woo, that was a scare. <laughs> she was pushing so hard and lost the rear on that area. That is not a place to keep the rear in. And here we go. A Husqvarna 701, I think it is, versus a KTM 400. I don't know if it's a 500 or a 700. But boy, she's moving with that thing. It's got all the torque in the world to exit, so obviously when she exits on corners, uh, she's got the power, but she doesn't have the best aero, and also the geometry is very different, so let's see how it goes, so there you go, power time, see you later, and under braking I'm able to catch a whiff, but, uh, but yeah, we got two of the fastest ladies in the west coast, um, Anna and Sylvia, you go follow her, go find her on Instagram, she's an absolute rapid individual, great coach as well, and also you'll find their two-wheel track days coaching people and just, uh, yeah, riding like a maniac. And uh, on the 450 race that we had before, she killed everyone. And uh, she lost the rear, but it was a heroic situation because she stalled and she went from dead last to like third in, in a matter of five or six laps. She was a demon. Uh, but anyway, chasing her, let's see if I can learn a thing or two. I know she's got those mirrors. I'm like, can she see me on the, on the rear view mirror? She get nervous will she make a mistake but I gotta admit it I was pushing as hard as I could so if I was doing 204s and 203s she was doing 204s 203s in that bike with mirrors with sing with signals <laughs> freaking um, yeah probably quite heavy to be honest uh, more of a multi-strata style bike maybe it's like the chubbier bike it's not even a super motorbike for us it's like a chubbier here we go in the tidy section. The only, the only thing I can do is just try to outbreak, but as soon as we are on the exits, if I don't catch a draft, she goes away. Goodbye. This is this is a turn where she almost lost it before. You know, you downshift and tie a little bit. Look what the different lines do. She took a bit of a wider line, it took a bit of a tighter line. And it's not that she's going faster or slower, I'm going faster or slower, it's just the lines. There's less feet all together when you pick different lines on this on this area i was able to put the pressure on i was able to put the pressure on but i could, but I could never catch her though i would go get close but as soon as that engine you know got torque and got power she was gone she was you know she was holding it. i can't believe she was riding that elephant around this track at this speed it's insane We're gonna go into Willy Hooligan mode in a minute. So enjoy, 